Yeah, got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. This woman, I stand firmly behind. Yeah. She's tired of the nonsense. Check this video out. We are paying you to teach history. And that's what you need to be teaching. I'm teaching my son to grow up to be a man. Yeah. And I don't want you hanging on right. flag. I'm calling security. Hanging wow. a flag up for you to security. sit up there and teach them the type of stuff I'm trying to keep them away from. Yeah, that's that's one thing I understand. Like these teachers, they yeah. hang all these uh, flags up. Yeah, the kids are not there for that. Yeah, it's just weird to how celebrate how you get off. I know, because I'm a firm believer of sexuality. It can be taught. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> if yeah. he was raised by two flaming Decepticons. Trans yeah, transgender. Yeah, yeah. Two flaming Decepticons. We don't have Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, he could be like, yeah, I'm going to the party. We don't have Dirty Harry. We don't have all those westerns. Oh, oh you got Dirty Harry. <laughs> you got a different Dirty Harry. That he you is? got Queen Dirty Harry. The dude yeah. in Queen? Yeah. The lead singer? He was so gay, it literally killed him. Yeah. Hey, um, why you gotta put this in the classroom? Because they want more people like them. Because you can, t this can be taught. Yeah, that's why they want to be there. Any conservative or Republican or moderate or Democrat that's not willing to admit that is lying to you. That's why they all. That's why you have all this imagery. That's why you go in the Lego store. That's why you see the badges. That's why Bud Light was paying Dylan Mulvaney. They want this out in the forefront. It can actually. Change your sexuality. They could be changed. Yeah, you just be exposed to it. You be it's crazy what you um you get used to. Yeah. I mean I was in boot camp, man. It's like I in did. prison. Hey man, I'm talking. It's like in prison. Yeah. Right? I go to prison, man. I'm straight. No, but well, how many times can I say no? <laughs> All that pressure's gonna be building up. It's like you're gonna need a release. It's like you know I'm just gonna do it one time. <laughs> then we get out of prison, man. Glad I ain't got to do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what you gonna do? You let it in prison. You gonna keep on doing? It. Hey, let me say this, Kevin. Like I remember, I, I went in the boot camp, Marine Corps. I didn't like MREs. Yeah, but after a while, man, I loved them. It was delicious, right? Which one was your favorite? Man, that chicken and rice with that cookie was hard as a brick. <laughs> Man, it was it was recruits losing teeth. That damn cook was so hard. Man, it got to a point where I craved it. My body started craving it. It's like I was addicted to them. I didn't even want to eat regular food anymore. I just want a bunch of MREs in my in my um. You've been institutionalized. Yeah, I've been See, institutionalized. Yeah, just like that movie. Them people been in prison all those years. Yeah. First, when they get in there, they can't wait to get out. Yeah. And then when they get out, they, they want to go back because they've yeah. been institutionalized. Everything can be taught. The reason why the majority of society is straight is because the majority of kids are raised in mm -hmm. a straight home. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. why these people, the Decepticons, is doing this. That's why they got all them books in there. They call it LGBTQ friendly. That's what they call them. That's what they call them. Everything's a euphemism. Everything's being desensitized. They're coming after the kids, and they are. They are going after the kids. Man, I found my little boy on, on TikTok talking about he wanna he wanna some uh what's that stuff they put on that make him shiny? Lip gloss? Yeah, lip gloss, but he wanted the ones with the sparkle in it. Ooh, like uh, then he wanted, Eli? Yeah, then he wanted his hair purple. I was like, wait a minute, where you getting all this from? Went to his TikTok, right there he's been watching a little Decepticon. And he was flaming. Did he, was it, are you too late? Nope. You sent him straight, huh? I blocked him. I said, you are not allowed to look at that Decepticon anymore. This is an actual. You better get, hey, you better keep an eye on him. Yeah, you got to keep an eye on what been, your kid's looking at. Yeah. You, you got to keep an eye on him now. Yeah. Because he's been exposed. He didn't forget about him now. He's been exposed and you got to watch him. Yeah, I bought him a bunch of toy guns. and <laughs> I'm throwing all these jokes out and it's just going over your head. I was being facetious. What'd you say? Man, shut up. I went and bought him a bunch of guns, toy guns, and knives. Told him, 
Now he's going around the house acting like he's standing. Nah, you you want to masculize him? Yeah, you want to you 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 make him more masculine? Got him a football bat. Get the old Looney Tunes and have him watch a bunch of Yosemite Sam. That'll yep. set him straight. Yep. Yosemite Sam will set that boy straight. Yes, yeah, Yosemite Sam. Who else? You about that age. Uh, Foghorn Leghorn is good, too. He was masculine. Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, I remember him. Had that masculine voice, too. Big rooster. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be approved before my kid can watch it. Because they are targeting kids, man. They're trying to make it more acceptable. Which, I mean, I don't see the wrong in, in accepting other people's lives, but when they're trying to push that lifestyle on you and to push that ideology on you, they're trying to change definitions to words that's already been... It's already been determined to be accurate, like woman and man. Like, um, they're trying to change all these definitions. Like, like they call, like, they, look at all these, uh, look at all these, these terms they got for, for Decepticons. Yeah. At the end of the day, you just, you just a Decepticon. Hey, um. All you doing is throwing an extra adjective in there. You still a Decepticon. Taking up the whole alphabet. Nobody got the idea for that flag, right? Got that's the Bible. Rainbow? Yeah. That's, that's biblical. Y'all should have went for a different, like, flag. Y'all should have came off um, red and brown. Should have been like, uh, you get it? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of red and brown colors. And then in the middle of that flag is a big pile of brown with some red sprinkle on it. And put a 3D hole at the bottom. <laughs> To the left? You need to throw your little toys on the right. <laughs> yeah, instead of having the stars right there, yeah. put all your little toys up out. Yeah. Yeah. Portray what that flag really, what that, what that flag really means. What? Portray what that flag really means. Oh, okay. I did, did so like I had the L in that one. Huh? <laughs> your, your I L said portray what the flag oh, really means. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. What do you thought I said? Tongue slipped a little bit. <laughs> Happens to Biden all the time. <laughs> if it's okay for Biden's tongue to slip, why ain't it okay for a Negro's tongue to slip? <laughs> hey, let me say this. Like, they say, um, like, when I speak out against stuff like this, that I'm being disrespectful to that group of people. No, I'm not being disrespectful. I respect your right to live your life. Yeah. But you should respect... My life. You're not going to be throwing that in front of my kids. Yeah. like the They're t- going there to learn. Let me do some talking. They're going there to learn that arithmetic, reading, and all that other stuff. Right? They don't need to see that. Yeah. They shouldn't care what my teacher is. Yeah. You. F- Nobody cares you're a Decepticon. I don't want to know that. That's your business. Why do you want me to know what you do in your own bedroom? They're trying to... um. They're trying to normalize it. Yeah, that'll never be normal. Never. Well, you can normalize it going about it the way they're going about it. Make it more normal. Yeah. I think that stuff's crazy. Two dudes. Man, that is crazy. And it's going I mean, in and it's going in a hole that's not even meant for that. Well, it's meant for it. That's why it's on the female. What? Which makes it even more wrong. What? I said. Would you pay attention? Get your hot knee off me. I said what makes it even more wrong when you, do, when you, when you partake in these Decepticon activities, that hole that you're, you know, that you're using. It's not for that. Yeah, it is. It's for waste. Yeah, it's for that too. It's, it's on a woman too. I don't use that neither. You should. Yeah. And what do you think it's that for? It's for waste. Which am I for? That's for love. You don't think your butthole is for love? <laughs> no. Why not? Your mouth's for love. <laughs> your hands are for love. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> That's a sin. No, it ain't. I think the mop is a sin too, ain't it? No, no. No, it is. I, I think we misinterpreted the Bible. No, no. If it's on your wife, it's totally. No, I think the mop is a sin too. No, it can't be a sin. Something that good can be a sin. 
You need to go pick up your bob. Stay away from my kids. <laughs> Show's over. It's time to give up our new giveaway. It's a Dodge Ram power truck. And we about to do something we ain't never did before. It's a camper. Not only you get a brand new truck, you get a camper with it too. And 10,000 in cash. Hey, Keith. Yeah. We've given away over $2 million in trucks and cash and prizes. We give them back to the people who support us. Instead of giving money to Facebook to advertise this stuff, yeah. they censored us anyway. So I said, you know what? Incentivize our own people to already support us. It's a win-win for everybody. Go to officialhawktwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. End of the win. Yeah. No purchase necessary. Boardware prohibited. See official rules for details. Yeah.